Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Nabuto and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about why I think Morocco will not win the Africa Cup of Nations in 2022. But before we get in the video, I just want to let you guys know that around like 77% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel but are watching my videos. So please hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later in the future if you don't like my future content. Also remember to hit a like. Let's try reaching like 75 likes this video. Come on, man. Let's do it. Also remember to follow my socials, Twitter at Nabuto, Instagram at Nabuto, and Twitch is twitch.tv slash Nabuto. Do those things too. Anyways, let's get into the topic of the video, why I think Morocco will not win the Africa Cup of Nations. Now this is crazy to me because I think Morocco is one of the strongest African teams out there. However, Morocco released their squad today on who they're bringing to the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon, and the squad doesn't look all that. What I mean by this is there's some really good players that are missing. The biggest and most obvious player that's missing is obviously Hakim Ziyech, or Ziyech, or Ziyech, whatever you want to pronounce his name as. Initially, I was like, what is going on? Why is Hakim Ziyech, the Moroccan star player, not on the Morocco squad for Africa's biggest tournament. But obviously, there are reasons for everything, so I started researching, I started doing a little digging, you know what I'm saying, and then I found some answers. So according to the Athletic, Hakim Ziyech was dropped from the Morocco squad because of unacceptable behavior. So the manager of Morocco spoke about why Hakim Ziyech is left out of the squad, and he had this to say. His behavior in the last two matches, especially the last one, was not of that of the national team player, who, as a leader of the team, must be a positive role model. He arrived late, and after that, he even refused to work. There was no point in discussing it afterwards. As a coach, the answer is right there to see. For me, the national team is above everything. Nobody can hold a hostage. For the first time in my coaching career, I have seen behavior that disappoints me. A player who refuses to play a game immediately a friendly on the pretext that he is injured. The medical staff made several examinations and said he could play. He then refused to warm up in the second half because he was disappointed in the substitute. For me, that type of behavior is unacceptable. You can't cheat with the national team. You are 100% there or you were not. I won't tolerate it. And I think the coach is kind of right on this one. You can't fake an injury not to play for your national team for a friendly. Yes, a friendly doesn't mean anything and you're trying not to get actually injured, but faking an injury not to play for your country come on bro that's a little disrespectful right so admittedly i think the coach is right however this punishment was set in stone in september 2021 the africa cup of nations in january 2022 that's a few months after this initial thing therefore i feel like the manager in these few months that they had before the africa cup of nations should have reached out to the player and see if they could find a solution and bring ziek back into the team but nothing was solved the coach didn't do anything and hakeem ziek is left out of the squad this kind of reminds me of the weston mckinney situation that got him kicked out of the usmnt camp in september he broke COVID protocol and Greg Berhalter, the USMNT manager, kicked him out. However, for the October camp, he brought him back in because Greg Berhalter said they had a good conversation with Weston McKenney and they decided to bring him back. That's what I think the Morocco manager should have done with Hakim Ziyech, but I guess they had different plans. Now, leaving your biggest star player out isn't a big enough reason to say that you are not going to win the Africa Cup of Nations. But the thing is, the Moroccan manager did not just leave Hakim Ziyech out. They left other players out as well. For example, the Ajax right back, Mazraoui. He was left out of the squad. Now, I know, Akraf Hakim is there. Mazraoui is probably not going to play that much but still he's a good player a good depth piece so for Mazraoui his situation is a little bit different but basically he also got in a confrontation with the manager and Morocco news reported this this news outlet said when I arrived the coach was very upset with me during training it was very hot and the coach asked us to drink every five minutes during one of the breaks I didn't drink because I wasn't thirsty anymore the Morocco manager came to me to drink again which I politely refused but he nervously insisted to calm the situation Romain Saiz gave me a bottle of water but I poured it on the floor and that's how the problem started there's a common denominator here there's something wrong with the Moroccan manager bro why is the Moroccan Federation not looking deeper into this, bro? The manager might be the reason why Morocco never reaches their full potential. And I'm not even done. I'm not even done. There's another star player on Morocco, Amine Herit, that has not been included in the squad either. Amine Herit was asked about being left out of Moroccan squad in October, and he had this to say. These are the coach's choices. I respect them. It's been a long time since he selected me. He made his choices. It's just not me. Other important players in the selection are not there, but I don't have a say in it. So basically, again, the manager is the reason why Amine Herit is not being selected. Herod is not going attacking the manager saying it's his fault, but he is saying that the manager is the reason why he's not being selected at the moment. Three star players, guys. Three Moroccan star players. Hakim Ziyech, Mazraoui, and Amina Herod are not selected for Morocco's squad for the Africa Cup of Nations. And yes, I know they still got some star players. Akraf Hakimi, their biggest player probably is still there. Romain Saiz is still there. Bufal is still there as well. And Enna Siri is still there as well. I'm about to. You know, I can go on about Morocco's squad, but they're star. Three star players, bro. Three of their players are not there. It feels like there's a lot of internal problems within the camp and an internal problems does not have a good sign. So I feel like Morocco, not necessarily saying that they're gonna flop, they're just not gonna go that far in my opinion and they're not gonna win the trophy. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I just really wanna talk about
about Morocco's problems right now because I feel like the Africa Cup of Nations is going to be a topic of interest for football when the tournament comes and arrives. And I wanted to talk about it and I want to give it a glimpse on why I think Morocco is not going to win it. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe later in the future if you don't like my future content. Also, leave a like. I already told you guys. Let's try reaching 75 likes this video. Follow my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch are all at Nabuto. So follow me there as well. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.